Welcome to K&D's Homestead. I'm Donna. I came out here to my back garden today with intentions of planting potatoes. I've got a big tub of potatoes that is ready to go out and some of them have shoots already on them this big. This is my back garden that I'm going to show you. This is where I prefer to plant and what I, what I prefer to use. I have a front garden that is nicer, in better condition, and might actually have more planting uh, boxes in it, but I like the back garden because it's away from the traffic. My front garden is so close to the traffic. I hate being out there because there's always hooting hollers out there and, you know, just stupid people <laughs> passing by. But anyways, I came out here and to my dismay the garden is not in usable condition and i'm going to show you why in a few minutes um i knew last summer sorry it is windy out here i knew last summer that it was in bad shape and some of the boxes were starting to um, decay and they weren't looking good and i put that on a video sometime back in the summer showing some problems but we've had a brutal winter and i guess with the cold temperatures the freezes we've had a lot of rain a lot of heavy wind and it has vandalized my garden and i have not got the ability to repair i'm going to have to tear it down most of it not everything and rebuild from scratch so i'm probably not going to be able to plant back here and it's in such bad order that it's problematic and i am going to have to do something now today i won't be planting my potatoes i guess i'm going to have to shift all of my focus back to the front garden the one that I really don't like planting in, I was going to just use that and plant flowers, but I guess I'm going to have to do all of my vegetable planting out there because this one is going to be a tall order to uh, rebuild, and it might take me all summer. The wind has even, I've got a wooden fence that I made out of some really nice, um, they were straight, um, pallet pieces they were solid they still are <laughs> solid oak 12 foot pieces and i made a fence down the side of the garden and the wind has blown that over and it was in um in the not in the ground but i had pipes metal pipes driven into the ground and the fence was attached to those pipes and it has blown it over a while back I don't remember if it was December timeline we had a really strong winter storm that was near hurricane force winds and I guess that's when it weakened the structure so I've got to take that down if the boards are not broken may have to repair or just ditch that altogether I don't know but this is going to be a process that's going to go on for a while it's not going to get done in one video, but I will bring videos showing the progress along the way. But let me show you what has taken place. If the sun is not so bright that it can't be seen, this is my first box. And you can see the sides are splitting open. And that is so weak, that's going to fall. And then the uh, soil is going to spill out. So this box it has got to go... Over here, the bottom uh, boards are bowing out, so that's got to go. This is my fence all the way down. And down on the end, it's actually curled. That piece is probably not going to be reusable. So this box has got to be taken apart. This one looks good from this side, but it's deceiving because on 
this side this is bowing I might get one more season out of this box I may not tear this one down I may just see how the soil has compacted and it's really uh, low in the box I may take the soil from another box that I'm taking apart and move it over to here this box here is coming apart at the bottom and then over here is not terrible might get one season out of that but this corner here is bad this section is separating right here last year this was one of my strawberry boxes look at what has ha this has happened this winter and I have not been out here I don't come to this back garden because there's not been anything I needed to do and it's been so cold so I have not noticed this kind of destruction but the boards are rotten and they have completely come off and now I've got spillage of soil all over my fabric this box is just as bad bottom section has fell off and that's bowing just a little bit when they start bowing there's not much you can do you cannot bow them back this long box was my potato box and I just don't think that I should try to use it not even for one more season the soil this middle board there's three boards and the middle board is bowed out so bad the soil is spilling on the ground this was both regular potatoes and sweet potatoes last year I might be able to salvage a couple of pieces of wood if they're still straight and not bowed and reuse them somewhere else but not much is looking good enough to do that this box here had my peppers to, and tomatoes in it last year as well as green beans that went over the trellis but these boards have separated here I feel like if I don't go ahead and tear them apart and at least open up one side where I can get the tractor in here and use the bucket to get the soil out then they're going to come apart so bad I'll have soil spilled all over my fabric and I feel like that's going to be harder to get up than to scoop it out of the boxes. My idea is to take the front boards here off and use the bucket and scoop out as much as possible. And then at some point I'll have to hand shovel that soil. These boxes are very big and very tall. They're at least three feet in some cases this one might be a little more than three feet um, tall because we put really wide boards on them and um, so they're holding a lot of soil it's not like I've got two shallow boxes here this one is real shallow that would be easy to dig out and this slightly longer one here if I had to that would be easy to dig out but these big deep boxes they are not going to be easy to move that much soil so right now my plan I've got a row here of pots and there are various things. One, this is an olive tree, and that's a rose bush, and a um, hydrangea on the end, and some flowers in the middle. 
I'm going to move all of these over down this fence line right here and open up the center and I'm going to bring the tractor in this way see that's one problem is I boxed myself in to where I don't have room to get the tractor in without dismantling things this was just uh, something I made out of scrap to use as a wash table with wire that way dirt and debris could just wash through and this was sitting right here so I've moved it and these are gonna have to be moved and I can get in there with the tractor to these three boxes and try to scoop out but I have to make an entrance to get in and out with the tractor I may have to take this fence down and just go in straight I'm sure that would be a lot easier all in all my entire garden back here is going to have to be dismantled and I'm going to have to start again I'm going to turn around but the sun is so bright I don't know how hard that is to see so I've got to make room to get the tractor in here and that center box has to go which means the trellises have to come down this is going to be a big undertaking and it's probably going to take me a little bit here and a little bit there all summer I don't know that I'll be able to use any of this garden this summer well anyways that's a uh, just an update I wanted to show the detriment that the winter has caused in this garden and I guess, like I said, I'll be shifting everything to my front garden. And I'm um, going to have to plant things out there. That means I'm probably going to have to downsize the amount of stuff that I would normally be growing. Because there's not room in that garden to plant everything that was planted plus what I normally plant here. I will bring the um, progress to video in stages and we'll see how long it takes me to get this done. We'll find somewhere to get my potatoes planted and I'm going to get started on all of this mess. Well it's a couple of hours later and I have gotten a lot of soil, there's still a lot left of course, but I've got a lot of soil out of that box I used the tractor to pull the front off and the side came off with it this box is not so bad so I transferred a lot of soil over to this box uh, by the way that's my tractor running in the background I hope you can hear um, so I topped off this box it was several inches shy of where it needed to be and I feel like the soil is pretty healthy. It's loaded with earthworms. As you can see, there's one, there's one. Where, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's an earthworm there. <clears throat> um. But as I've been shoving the dirt around, moving it around, I have found a lot of earthworms in it. There's one right there. There's one moving around right there. But down, down deep, like, I dug down, and just about everywhere I dug down with a shovel full, I came up with earthworms. So I feel like this soil is pretty healthy. All of this soil in this box and in this box, I made, uh, I don't know, four or five years ago. Just um, 
putting grass clippings and leaves onto a pile and all of that turned into soil. Now this box a couple of years ago had uh, regular potatoes in it and then the following year I had sweet potatoes in it and I actually did dig up a couple of potatoes um, they are and they were down deep those were down really deep in the box but anyways I was able to salvage this box the back side is bowing just a little bit, but I think I've got another season. And I drove a stake, a T-post back there to kind of hold that side in. I think I can grow something in this box. I may come out tomorrow if it's not too cold and plant some potatoes in it. It's starting to get cold out here again, and so I'm ready to go inside. This took me a couple of hours by myself, and I still have all of this soil here to move. And I will move it one bucket at a time with the tractor. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to salvage any of those boxes down there. I'm gonna examine the situation a little closer. Maybe I can pull off a bad board and replace it with a good board, I don't know. But, at least I've got a start on it. I do have the front garden, like I said, and I will be using it. But, I think I'm going to plant potatoes in this box, maybe tomorrow, if the weather allows me to come out and do that. Well, that's it for today. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.